Hi Audacious Church, my name is Mandy and I go to the Chester location of Audacious Church uh, with my husband James and my two beautiful children. Um, we are part of um, the team there and um, we serve on a Sunday morning and part of Alpha which is in the wider church, yay go Alpha! Um, part of the prayer team and we lead a small group in our home um, in the Wrexham area. So um, this morning I'm going to be talking to you about my miracle. Um, the verses I have chosen today speak of the journey that we make um, through our life with Jesus uh, for he is able to work a miracle in our hearts. I know he has done in mine and I know he can do in yours. So the verses are from Psalm 51 verses 10 to 12 and I'm going to read them to you and it says create in me a pure heart O God and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. So when I was in my early 20s, my brother-in-law asked me this question. Um, what is God doing in your life today? In the kitchen, you know. And I just felt quite put on the spot with the question and it's rumbled through my mind. I'm, I'm not joking, it's come back at lots and lots of times. Uh, more than and more than 20 years I've thought about you know what does it mean to say what God is doing in your life today at different moments and different seasons um, you see I made the decision to follow Jesus when I was eight um, and this year marks the 40th year since I made that decision and life is full of twists and turns and there have been times when I've walked really closely with God and others when I have felt distant, burdened and reliant on my own strength. But I know that God's strength was always readily available. So let me take you back to 2016, where I attended a Christian event with thousands of other people at a time when I felt really heavy with life. You know, my shoulders were drooped um, and I just felt like I was sort of stuck. And as I walked into the venue, um, I felt like I'd come home, that I was in that place where I was no longer defined by my job or my family and I was where, there to worship the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. It was in that place on that week that God reminded both me and my husband to seek him first. He reminded us separately because that's how he cares about us. He wants to make sure we know. And it was in that place that um, I saw a woman in front of me um, in worship with her arms raised in complete abandonment, worshipping our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. And I can still see those arms in my mind's eye. She had a silver ring on her left hand and her fingers were stretched out in what looked like desperation. And as I stood there, I wondered what had happened to that woman to physically manifest such freedom and openness in worship. And little did I know that over the next six years, um, God would move me on that journey through the most difficult period of my life um, that I was yet to experience. And it's here in 2023. You see, what happened in those six years isn't as significant as the space I'm in now, because I can stand and testify that God is a God of miracles. During boot camp um, in September 2022, 22. Uh, Tim Aiken gave me the verse for today, that verse, uh, Psalm 51 verses 10 to 12. And these verses which contain the words, renew, create, restore and sustain, sum up the journey into freedom I've experienced through and through these challenges, God has taught me these things. He's taught me that he is faithful. And when I stopped the activity, God showed me that like a runner in a race, he had been faithfully beside me all the way. Cheer me on even when I couldn't see his face, hear his voice, and even when I forgot to acknowledge his goodness. I found out that in him there is freedom. Like the lady with the outstretched arms, God has slowly and gently in the darkest times peeled off the layers that had built up over the years so that I could move. He doesn't want us to carry the weight of the world, you see. He has overcome the world. And he's told me that he's forever. It's in the darkest times that I realised what hope actually is. 
what the world tried to crush only reminded me that today is not the end. My relationship with God is forever and he has already won. So today I stand with arms open wide and heart abandoned because I know that when I seek him first, he will renew, he will create, he will restore and he will sustain me through it all. I am grateful today to be in a church where a radical relationship with Jesus is at the centre and that the power of the Holy Spirit is there and that we, through him, can shine a light in this dark world. So let's go back to the question, what is God doing in my life today? The answer is absolutely everything. He is my miracle all things together for God. Have a great day, Audacious Church. You're wonderful. Remember, you're serving the King, who's the King of everything.